Hello, Orange Misfit here. I'm taking a break from reviewing things that slightly matter and talk about something that's even more irrelevant and obscure. And the game I'm talking about is Marvel Puzzle Quest. You might have heard of it, but probably not. I've been playing this game for quite a while, so I'm just going to dive into it and explain why this is the most repetitive, unbalanced, and horrible game out there that for some reason I can't stop playing. It's your standard match tiles game. You make matches for colors, then use those color points to power up your attacks, then you match more, then fire more powers, then match, fire, match, fire, match, fire, and after about 7 minutes you'll either obliterate your opponent or get obliterated, depending on your luck and levels. And that's it, that's literally the entire game. You have two modes of play, player vs event, which involves clearing the same 10 nodes for events that are so boring and recycled that at this point you probably have the dialogue memorized. Or you can do some player vs player, which is never put up against a live opponent, but rather a computer simulation that plays as if you've been awake for 30 hours, picked up the game for the first time, and just lost both your thumbs. Either option isn't really that appealing, so then where's the quality and fun here? Well if it weren't for the Marvel license, no one would ever play or spend money on this game. Regardless, you got all your favorite characters to choose from, like Wolverine, Captain America, Wolverine, Thor, Wolverine, Spider-Man, Wolverine, Captain America, and Devil Dinosaur. Actually, there's a mildly expansive roster. I think the only major Marvel characters they're missing are Red Skull and Gambit, but it's not like anyone wants those characters anyway. And even if they don't have that obscure character you want, don't worry, because they release a new one, usually an all-star it's extremely popular and not just a lazy rehash of another character every two weeks. Because in the developers' minds, oversaturation and difficulty obtaining and leveling new characters are non-existent problems. Now here's the problem with this game. Obtaining a character you want, getting a specific character is a horrific and daunting task. Let's say you love Carnage. You have a poster of Carnage in your room. You read Maxim Carnage comic books every night before bed, and you have a Carnage waifu pillow. You really want Carnage. Well, you can either spend hundreds of dollars on tokens, maybe getting him, or spend this impossibly rare and expensive currency to get him called Command Points. Now by some miracle, let's say you've got at least one cover, so you're at least able to purchase specifics, which is good. One 4-star cover costs 120 CP. Let's put this in perspective. At best, without any purchasing or alliance help, you can earn 2 a day, meaning it would take you 2 months to get one cover. One cover out of a maximum of 13. That would take you a year and 8 months, and that's assuming you're lucky enough to obtain its other colors by random means. It's ridiculous! Now that's okay, because you can just buy command points. Now how much do they cost? Oh, I can get 7 for $100. 7 for a hundred dollars. What other game has these kind of rates? And 78,000 ISO is worth a hundred dollars? To explain, ISO is readily obtainable from playing. That cost is absurd. I generally earn about 7,800 a day just from regular playing. I mean, who has the Benjamins to be paying for this? According to conversion and whatnot, I'm sitting on nearly four hundred dollars of ISO. If there was any way I can convert that to real money, I wouldn't a second. In conclusion, you're never getting the character you want. So if you're like me and have been playing a fairly long time, you've probably got a somewhat decent and colorful roster, but if you're just starting out, good luck. There are five tiers in the game, one, two, three, four, and five obviously, but the thing is, the transition between one to two, then two to three is easy, but to get to three to four, and then finally four to five is unbearable. There's absolutely no balance in this game, even just from tier to tier it's a broken power difference. As a beginner player, you're stuck with trash like this when you want unholy nightmares like this. Well, assume I had more covers. But, by and by, just look at the match damage difference. So what are you going to do? Well, like any free-to-play game, you pay to win. And you best be bringing out your wallet, route your bank account, sell some organs, because these resources aren't cheap. There's numerous other things I could complain about. Shortages for ISO, hero points, and command points, balancing issues, lack of communication, lack of originality with events, broken and useless characters, scaling issues, point issues, oversaturation issues. I mean, I could spend a three hour review complaining about these things, but it's kind of pointless since that's what nearly every topic on the board is about, and developers still don't listen. So you're probably asking yourself, why don't you and everyone out there just quit? Why do you subject yourself to this kind of torture? Why do you want to put up with all this nonsense? Why don't you just delete your account, or toss your tablet out the balcony? And it's a fair and reasonable question. The answer is because we're optimists, with a touch of sadomasochism. But really, despite all the complaining and hatred I've expressed, it's got solid gameplay, it's easy to pick up, and even though it's repetitive, you can still have fun trying out the different rosters and combat methods. 
Matching pretty colors is a great distraction to the horrors of the real world. Also, you generally win about 90% of the matches. It's great using your favorite characters, even if they're trash and not an S tier ranking. And even though it's a result of the company being horrific with distributing covers and resources, there's still not much more satisfying than getting that final cover you need out of luck, or overkilling some poor defenseless weakling with a full blast. Well here's my final recommendation. If you're just starting out or are considering playing this game, don't bother. Delete your account immediately and run. It's too difficult to catch up to the whales who have already maxed out 5 stars when you've only been given a level 1 1 star. However, if you've been playing as long as I have or longer, keep at it. I guess the game developers are sort of listening to the reasonable suggestions and occasionally there have been some slight improvements and changes. Compared to the way things were a couple months ago, aside from the addition of 5 stars, they've been at least trying to make things better, so stick with it, unless they do allow you to sell your account and resources, and then it's bye bye. That's just my opinion anyway. Now I'm either going to spend 3 hours grinding through the same nodes I've already beaten 3 times, or delete my account. Both are valid choices. See you next time when it's back to the ranking and reviewing.